Hi everyone, this is Ray, educator for Cerulegia's Kit Club, and this is my video on my canvas made of the Celestial Summer Project add-on. And what I've done so far for this canvas is I've go, went ahead and I put the shims that the that come with the canvas on here, and that's going to help when I weight this down with a bunch of gesso. So I have that all ready to start, and I'm going to be using some Prima Color Bloom sprays, and this one is in tea stain. And what I'm going to do to just start out with is I'm going to go ahead and spray this on the edges. I don't need to do it in the middle because I'm going to be putting some gesso on there, but this works right here, and I also want to put it on the edges because I'm going to design the edges too. Now that that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and put some of the gesso that came in the kit, and I'm going to use a sea sponge. I'm not going all the way to the edges, but I just want to make sure that I'm getting most of it covered. It's okay if it's not. That's what I want it to look like there. And next I'm going to take some of this Shimmers Paints and Dimensions Blue Lagoon that we got in the embellishment kit, and I'm just going to squirt it on some random places. And again, use this sponge here to get this look. And I'll take some of my eyes ink and topaz. Now that this is dry, I'm going to go ahead and use my mask that we got that came in this kit. And I'm going to use some different ones just to kind of place some texture on here and I'm going to use my Windy Vecchi crackled texture paste. Okay, so this is completely dry, and I want to add some dimension and some character to the sides of my canvas. So what I've decided to do is use some of this purple zigzag floral wire that we got from the embellishment kit. And I also want to incorporate some seam binding that I got from Angelica's Etsy shop, which is so pretty, hand dyed. So what I'm going to do to adhere this is I'm going to add some score tape. I could add glue like some fabric tack, but I don't want to right away. I'll go in afterwards and do that. But I want to just put this in some random spots because I don't want it to be flat everywhere. Okay, so I have my sides done. I've got that added dimension there, incorporating purple. And what I've decided to do for this canvas is I'm actually going to be using the monthly sketch. So instead of doing the layout, I'm just going to use that sketch for my canvas. So I've already done some things off camera just to make it go more smoothly. I'm going to use the bridge from the main kit. And I colored this using some distress stain and tarnished brass. And then I went back over it with some chalk ink and black coal just to give it a distressed look and to make the little pathway a little darker. So I've got that that I'm going to be adding, and I'm also going to add this from the embellishment add-on. And I also colored this with tarnished brass, and I'm going to have that go right here. Okay, so besides that, I'm going to be using some of the lace from the embellishment kit. So that's going to go there. I have a doily from the main kit, and I also have this clock from my stash, which is also Blue Fern Studios. So. That's going to be arranged like that. And what I've decided 
is I'm going to put pictures of my sweet little kids on here. It's going to go something like that. And one of the most exciting parts about this is the Dynamite's Die, which is designed by Lynn, who used to be on the education team, and she's guesting for us this month. So she made this die, and I cut these out using the canvas paper that came in the kit. So I just ran that through my Vagabond. This stuff is so cool, because when you run it through, and I painted it with the green paint that came in the kit, and this is Tattered Angel's High Impact in olive. So I just cut out three of those, and I love the dimension you get from it. You can just see that they are not going to fall apart. So I have these that I'm going to incorporate, and I'll get started on that and just let the camera roll and show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm nearly done with this. I just want to add a few minor details. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to paint these little fairies. And I'm going to use some of the Shimmers Inklings from my stash. And this one is Spotlight White. So this is just a watercolor. I'm going to use some of the silks that we got in the main kit. This is Snapdragon just want to add some purple to that little flower on this fairy here. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of Say It in Crystals, also from the main kit. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it. I've just used a lot of things from the main kit using the sketch, and I think I'm calling that done. So I hope you enjoyed this process video for my canvas, and thanks for watching.